Hey everyone, uh, my name is Kate, if you don't know me. Um, I just completed the 75 hard. I adjusted it to my lifestyle to kind of fit me better and to make it possible for me. Um, there's a lot of things in the original challenge that just would not have worked out for my lifestyle. Um, so I did switch it up a little bit and I'll kind of explain to you guys what I did different and why I did it that way. But yeah, I guess we can just hop right into this. Um, I'm here to kind of explain to you guys how I did it, uh, what I did that really helped me and what I learned through this whole experience. So um, I guess we'll start with uh, what exactly did I do every day. The classic 75 hard, um, you have to um, take a progress picture every day, work out twice a day, every day, 45 minutes each, and one has to be outside. Um, you have to read 10 pages of, um, of a book every day, stick to a diet, um, no alcohol, and I believe there's something else. So for my, the diet that I chose was actually macros. I didn't do like carb free or like keto or no sugar or anything. I just did uh, macro counting. Um, the first, uh, I believe like nine weeks, I just did macros, just whatever fit in my day. And then the last two weeks I did uh, like super, super clean eating just to see kind of uh, what, how big of a difference that that made. And it really did make a difference. And uh, we'll get into that in just a second. I plan on continuing to do macros just because it's, it's always, macros have just worked for me. Um, it gives you everything that your body needs um, in a, in, in right, in the right portions, I guess is the best way that I can explain it. Next assignment that I did was drinking 64 ounces of water a day. I actually thought that that was going to get me, and it didn't. I did really well with it. I have um, one of these water bottles that tell you, like, the times and everything uh, that you need to be drinking your water. And it also just helps you, like, keep up with how much you're actually drinking. And then I had to work out once a day, uh, every day. Um, and I, w I was doing like one rest day a week, but it was an active rest day. So I had to do something, whether it was go outside and walk, um, do like an ab circuit, a yoga thing. I had to do something um, productive, at least for my physical health. I had set off like um, set on the side, like right here, uh, workout number two. So if I wanted to work out twice in a day, that's just a little bonus. For reading, I had to read every day and also um, doing a devotional in the morning. So I didn't exactly do 10 pages of a book, but I did, um, there were times where I was reading two books at once or the devotional in the book or devotional in two books, just whatever it was. I, I, my mind was on several different topics, which I think helped me grow a lot. I'm not 21, so I don't drink alcohol. So that wasn't going to be a part of my challenge. So I was like, okay, well, what's something that might be a little bit difficult for me that I really want to start doing? And for me, that was making my bed every morning. So I started making my bed every morning. So that, those were my assignments and I killed it. I mean, I did it. I made a list of, well, you probably can't read it, but it says what I learned doing the 75 hard and how it went. Um, I was just gonna read off these points to you guys kind of just to tell you how it went, uh, the good and the bad, uh, what I wish I would have done, what I'm glad I did, just stuff like that. The first point that I wrote down was that it was equally a mental challenge as it was a physical one, which is very true. Um, I had a couple mental days where I just, you know, because I deal with a lot of anxiety and everything like that. So there were days where, you know, it was really difficult for me to get out of bed but the challenge almost gave me a reason to, but it definitely was pretty difficult mentally, especially just getting yourself to do um, all of the stuff that you had um, assigned. You know, I allowed myself time to have my moments and, you know, I, I gave myself a couple seconds every day and just to kind of debrief. And if I was having just a mental hour, you know, where I just needed to just lay in bed, shed a few tears, and you know, just let everything out. I definitely allowed myself to do that, but then after the fact, I was like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna sit here and just sink in your bed for the rest of the day. You're gonna get up and you're gonna go work out and you're gonna make your meal preps or you're gonna 
make your dinner or whatever. So that was definitely a big, a big thing. My second point was that I'm really happy that I adjusted it to my lifestyle. I kind of explained that earlier, but um, yeah, I am really happy that I adjusted it to just the way that I live my life. This was more so like a introduction into uh, the lifestyle that I aspire to have than it was actually like a 75 hard challenge. Um, if I would have done something that was nearly impossible, it would have just made me miserable and made me not want to live like this. And so adjusting it to my lifestyle, I, I think personally made the goals that I had for myself a lot more appealing. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned this, but the last two weeks I ate really, really clean. And I'm really happy that I did that. So as I said, for my dieting, I did my macros uh, because that's just always what worked for me. And so when I started doing macros, I just simply did macros. There was no like requirement or anything. It was just if it fit in my macros for the day, I could eat it. So sometimes that meant I could have a brownie if I was low on carbs and fat. Well, I could have one because I have the space for it. And then in the last two weeks, I was like, all right, we're going to switch this up. We're going to make this a little bit more difficult and we're going to see if it makes a big of a, that big of a difference. And there was a huge difference. Um, I lost more weight. Uh, my body fat went down. Um, and overall, like my look, I just looked a little bit different, like slightly, even in the last two weeks, I just looked a little bit different. Oh, my next point is I still hate cardio. <laughs> next point, making your bed every morning makes you feel accomplished. And it really does. When you wake up in the morning and you get your med bed, med made? When you wake up in the morning and you get your bed made, I don't know what it is, but automatically your day just gets better. Like you just feel accomplished. Like, okay, I've done this for my day. I don't know what it is, but yeah, that's a fun fact. Okay. Next, uh, just because you're physically doing okay, does not mean that you are mentally. I'm big on mental health. Um, it's extremely important to me. Um, I think it should be a priority of everyone. Um, what goes on in your head mentally, it, you know, it, it determines the outcome of you physically. So I do want people to understand that like, just because um, people work out and they eat really healthy and everything does not mean that, they're, that their life is going amazing and perfect and great. It definitely helps your mental health. It definitely helps you feel better. But if you don't prioritize your mental health, nothing else matters. When you prioritize your mental health, you can perform better physically. And that just comes full circle and it just makes everything better. So if you take care of your mental health, it pushes you physically and you're able to um, perform better physically. And if you perform better physically, it makes you feel better mentally. So it's all just, it all runs together. And my next point kind of goes along with it. Prioritizing your help, your help. I don't speak English, I guess. Prioritizing your help makes you proud of yourself. Just keeping that positive attitude and prioritizing your overall health, mental and physically, um, it just, the, the more, the longer you do it, you're like, okay, I'm, I'm really proud of myself. Honestly, like for taking care of myself. When you do that, you just, you get this, just respect for yourself that I like, I respect myself so much now, like I never have before. Um, because I'm like, you did that you did and you did so good. And I'm so proud of myself and I have a, a reason to be, um, and we all have a reason to be proud of ourselves every day, but I, I accomplished something that I've always wanted to accomplish. And I did that and it makes you really proud. You almost get a sense of like peace and self-control that you don't get whenever you don't prioritize your health. I don't know, I just feel like that overall just, I don't know. Next, the gym becomes therapy. When I started this challenge, I was in and out of the gym in 45 minutes, and now good luck getting me out of there an hour and a half, two hours. Um, it becomes like a second home. It is like one of my favorite places to be now. Every day I'm ecstatic to go to, to go to work out after work or whenever. Oh, at this point, <laughs> I did not figure this out until like the week before the challenge was over. But meditation is 
awesome. It helps you sleep so good. Okay, so I started meditating before I fell asleep, um, like a little bit over a week ago. And a lot of the times during the time of meditation, I use it for prayer and to meditate on God's word and just things like that because that helps me and my spirit and everything like that. So doing that and even just taking the time to breathe in and breathe out and really like concentrate on your body and feeling relaxed and letting go of any tension and everything, giving your time, like I do it right before I fall asleep. I set up like a 15 minute, 20 minute meditation as I'm laying in bed trying to fall asleep. And by the end of it, I X out of the app and I fall asleep. Like it just relaxes you so much. That's one thing that I highly recommend people do is meditation. It's so amazing. So this is my last point. Meal prepping is amazing. It saves you tons of money and it gives you more time in the morning. So Kate, what do you mean by that? Well, I mean exactly what I said. So meal prepping is what I did. Jeez. So meal prepping is what I did that helped me with my macros. And I only meal prepped my lunches uh, just because I like to make my dinner and only for breakfast I'll have like a protein shake. When like I wake up to go to work in the morning, I don't have to give myself 30 extra minutes to make myself lunch, which it doesn't actually take 30 minutes, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, whenever I'm walking out the door, all I have to do is just grab my meal prep and go. I don't have to, you know, set aside time to make a sandwich or make whatever. I literally, it saves you so much time in the morning and you get to sleep in a little bit longer, honestly, if you, that's what you want to do with your time. Yeah, and it saved me so much money, like tons of, I was eating out so much less. But yeah, that's, those are some things that I, I learned uh, during the challenge that I think um, could help you know, some of you guys, uh, if you're interested in trying, or even if you're just interested in introducing yourself to a better overall lifestyle. Um, so real quick, I want to show you guys my before and after clips. Um, so we'll insert that right here, I guess. difference but like you can see some change my arms you know you know but yeah I mean I think this is everything that I wanted to say um I really want to turn this into a thing I really would like to you know have some sort of wellness lifestyle YouTube channel you know doing some uh, vlogs and you know come to the gym with me meal prep with me uh, let's be productive stuff um, but I do plan on kind of continuing this um, I'll also be posting some hair videos and stuff on here yeah that's uh that's pretty much it thanks for watching I hope this kind of inspired some of you guys to hop into this challenge thanks for watching and I will keep you guys updated on what's to come I will see you guys soon